everybody that is watching. Uh, now, uh, <coughs> last time uh, I was talking uh, about a circuit that I did with a, a friend of mine from uh, from England, Marconi. He did it in in reality with components. He has all these components, and he is a, a very good at, uh, at analog uh, using analog uh, uh, in, in circuits, ch chips, integrated circuits. And um, but I'm not that good like he is. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to do is to build what he did, but he didn't provide me a, a circuit. He only explained uh, what he did. Uh, he explained he used uh, this chip, uh, 7493. So he used this uh, this uh, memory chip, AFROM. Its name is uh, AT28C16. I believe 16 is for 16 bytes. And uh, I have no idea. I never used, I never seen uh, such a, um, a RAM or AFROM. Uh, ROM actually read-only memory. And he he already did it. He uh, he was able to. We are working in parallel, like a real team, <laughs> who doesn't tell anybody anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, but for uh, for learning purposes, you know, it's didactic here, and I get it. And uh, he is using the same uh, red matrix like I'm using here in the simulator. And my way of doing it, uh, uh, because I don't have all these uh, chips or all these ICs that he is having, I already uh, built this circuit that you that we are seeing here. The last time, the last video. Uh, let me run it for a little bit. Uh, as you can see, it is indeed uh, moving uh, all the columns. Uh, he specified me what I see is to use, and um, but he didn't tell me how to link anything. I had to figure it out by myself, and I did. And uh, I've seen a portion of his schematic where he used uh, a PNP transistors instead of NPN, like I'm using here, um, because this guy here is, is uh, if you are paying attention on him, uh, is keeping everything uh, high but only one low. So uh, when that is low, uh, is receiving, uh, is transmitting data, actually. Uh, it's transmitting uh, an, an information when it's low. It's kind of inversed. Uh, so I inversed it back to normal using uh, these not gates that are uh, that when this is high here, uh, when everything is high, everything is low on the other side here, as it should be normal. And when one of this uh, output is high, uh, is low, this will turn high. So it will power up. Uh, this uh, transistor and this transistor. This, uh, they are in parallel, five of them. Uh, these last two are not connected. Actually, I can move them out. Pay attention how everything is right now. As you can see, as you can observe, this chip here, you can see the red lines, right? It, they are not going to this chip at all. Only one line, which is doing absolutely nothing, that line. Uh, <laughs> is only inputting one or zero at some relatively random times from the perspective of this uh, chip. What this circuit is doing, this is actually commanding this chip. So these two chips are uh, one after another, and then the other block, this other block that is uh, coming from the output of this guy here. But this is left literally outside of the circuit. It's having absolutely nothing to do with anything. He's just staying there watching everything, but not doing anything. Not in, is not used. This chip is not used in this particular schematic here because I didn't know how to. Like I, I mentioned already, he is using this uh, Atmel uh, AT28C16 uh, chip. Actually, let me show you. Uh, damn it! Here, if I'm searching it, I've already downloaded uh, another two uh, versions of the same uh, name chip. But as you can see, if you if you look with uh, if you pay attention, uh, let me put this bigger. Uh, yes. Uh, here, so let me point. No fucking simulator model. So you cannot practically use this chip, and it's the same for everything. Uh, for the other two, for all three, uh, there are no simulator model for any of it. Uh, for, for for it to have a simulator model, you have to have installed a special DLL, that uh, dynamic link library. It means DLL, and uh, I don't have it. Uh, and if I'm putting it, let's let's putting it actually. Is this chip here? And if I'm trying to run, it's throwing me an error. No model specified for U6. And U6, guess what? It's this guy. And uh, it's pointing me directly. When I click on that link, it's, it's, it's uh, pointing me directly to this. And uh, let's leave this. Yes. And, and I cannot use that uh, that chip uh, per se. So the idea was to use a RAM chip, some kind of RAM chip uh, that is capable of storing uh, information, data in, inside. 
and then link everything from this uh, divider that I have here. This is a counter more than anything. This is counting to five and then starting to zero. And link uh, like this, come on, pack, pack, and pack. And link it like this, and this will transmit data to this. And from its outputs, outputs, this, uh, this uh, A's here represents its address. And uh, this will uh, uh, change the address. And on each address will be a set of uh, bits. Uh, how many? As many outputs I have here, eight bits uh, per address. So I'll have an option to to send eight bits at once per each address uh, uh, selected by this uh, counter. Uh, and these outputs will actually go to here. And as you can see, this is having three, uh, one, two, three inputs, A, B, C. So only three outputs will be used from here, not all, all eight. So I had to play with a lot of, uh, but a lot of uh, uh, RAM chips to understand how they are working and how can I program them. So this is the the thing that I did uh, immediately next after uh, after realizing what I it it must be done next after this stage that I'm right now with this program that you see right now. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I or, I've already find the solution, but uh, let me first uh, show you uh, the research that I did about uh, RAM chips that are uh, included in this uh, Proteus database, uh, and they are they can be animated and used here in, in the simulator. They can be simulated. Uh, so this file, I hope I don't need it anymore. So I will close it, save no, because I did some stuff there. And uh, voila, I have three memory chips that I played with. Uh, actually, let me first get you into. Uh, I made a, a, a document file um, in Microsoft Word, as you can see, it's written there. And um, this is a very old uh, uh, Microsoft Word, but exceptionally good if you know how to use it. So <laughs> I am laughing of those who are using uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm literally laughing of them. <laughs> I first I tested it uh, the, the RAM here in this file in this Proteus file save file and uh, let me first uh, actually I did this last <laughs> the last thing I did this uh, how uh, I find all the valid RAM I see is in Proteo so what I did I did this I got here and scroll down a little bit on the memory I see this uh, when I selected it I didn't have to, to search anything I, I'm just selecting the, this category and, and uh, you can see here are our libraries uh, mm. for certain chips and this that are uh, from Unio Mem, let's see, uh, so the, by library here, by Unio Mem, uh, SP, Spy Mem, I2C Mems, and IDT libraries are all okay. They all they all have a model uh, that you can simulate. But there are uh, uh, those who says only memory. And you, you see here, let me actually point it to be clear <laughs> that you cannot use this motherfucker uh, at all <laughs> in the simulation. What is this good for? It's just uh, only for drawing a, uh, a circuit schematic, but not actually simulating it. If you are in need of uh, of a, a circuit schematic and you need uh, a specific pinouts and just to figure out how to 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 construct the, the circuit, but not to simulate it, you can use this no simulator models uh, like they are like that. But uh, in the moment you, you are pressing the run button to simulate the thing, error, and the, the Proteus will say fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have to delete that component and uh, replace it with something that is working, that is simulatable. Uh, l let me. Uh, so this is no, no, no simulator, no simulator. This is uh, this is having a simulation model, a schematic model, blah blah blah. So uh, this is two one one four. Let's say it's first here in old by name. So this is uh, the, uh, this is the guy. So this is pretty much what I presented here is what I written on this uh, small page that I have here right now. And uh, you can copy this, all of them. Uh, they are all uh, simulatable. Uh, uh, RAM memories specifically, and also all from these uh, libraries, uh, all from them. And uh, this is the part of uh, selecting uh, multiple choices of uh, memory RAMs. If you are in need to, to 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 choose another RAM component, or yeah, uh, you you can look here, choose one of them and uh, test it, and see if it's doing what you need to be done, and if it's close to more close to what you have. Uh, and also by library, it depends uh, the style of uh, how you read and how you program it. Around. Because there are I2C ones, uh, and this is special protocol to, to read and to write. And it's very interesting uh, protocol, I, I really like it. Uh, and and uh, as you can see, it's also available for, for memories. So this is the, the part where we are choosing uh, 
what to choose and how to choose it and what to, uh, to be aware of and what is working and what is not working all right uh, now where well, I uh, now getting back to the beginning on in the beginning when I when I started this uh, Microsoft Word uh, pay, uh, page tutorial help tutorial I didn't had all this uh, valid drum. I, I just guessed I look on, on YouTube I looked on, on other tutorials on internet and I kind of followed their uh, examples and uh, until something worked on uh, a lot of tutorials they they worked to a point I could follow them to a point but after that point i couldn't do anything else i couldn't progress because they were in a special special direction with the programming with the with the circuit and i did what i wanted to to have uh, not their project but my project so um and they didn't fit at all the the end of the projects and i couldn't actually use their entire circuit or or methods so i had to to discover and i literally i searched and i built everything that you see here in a couple of days and it was hard uh, it wasn't easy but i fight for it because i'm a fighter <laughs> and if i'm fighting for something uh, sometimes i'm getting lucky like i did already and i find a solution uh, and it's a very good one and uh, you will like it as well so let's continue with the presentation uh, so how to the first one i i choose also from a tutorial i i did the tests this uh is um this is actually a very easy um uh, chip to use 6116 but when you open its uh, properties, edit components, it doesn't have a method of uh, uh, loading the program uh, from a file. This is the only, there are a couple of, of chips, memory chips like this, uh, RAM chips, that they don't give you the option to load an external file into them, which sucks. But uh, uh, the, their stronger point is that uh, uh, you can use them as, uh, you can program them directly in the circuit. So they are, uh, this 6116 is my favorite for uh, programming it uh manually like we are having right now in this situation all this page we are seeing here is um is manual programming what we are seeing here so let, let's uh, start uh, and doing um uh, some programming uh, manual programming uh let's i, I started the, uh, the the simulation right now right uh, i put a very specific uh, names here on the switch uh, run and program one on each switch program and run it means the run mode and the program mode you have to you have an option uh, to program the thing or to run it after you program it of course uh, you also have a spe specific pin a couple of pins you have to link those in a specific uh, way to be able to either program it or, or run the chip or read it uh, so uh, that's why i use a switch here a manual switch i switch it to five volts or to ground so uh, if you want to run the chip in this case this is extremely simple chip to, to program and to run it uh, uh, you, you just only have to, to switch one single uh, uh, switch this one and uh, if, when you switch it, uh, you uh, when you switch it to five volts, you run it. When you, when you switch it to pro, uh, to, to ground, you actually programming is is entering. He knows that he he must be programmed, and he is listening uh, for the instruction to be programmed in, inside each memory uh, address. And um, uh, like I said here, uh, th th this chip is empty when the simulation starts. So uh, if I'm pressing right now, the the first address is having all zeros. If I'm pressing the second address, all zeros. The third address, everything is zero, all right? And uh, let's actually program address zero uh, with a one bit. So I'm doing this a little bit uh, weird for you, uh, but uh, you will get it. If, these are uh, jumpers. And if I'm disconnecting the jumper, uh, I'm getting into the run mode. But if I'm connecting the jumper, I'm getting into the program mode because I don't need it. Uh, I don't need this output to influence the, the chip output. Uh, this is having an output here as well so right now uh at other zero we have uh a, a byte uh a byte of one zero 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 all all of these uh eight uh, bits are in this address zero now is, is in program mode everything as you can see is uh put to high and are standing and are staying to high uh now when i'm switch switching to run i can close everything i can uh, unjump that i can close this uh, output here and i can close this uh, address but when i'm pressing the address uh when i'm selecting the address uh it's corresponding bit here the first one that we program inside is litting uh so uh right now we have a ram that is having one bit on address as zero already programmed in it so let's let's do another uh, thing let's put on address one here as you can see uh on address one let's put uh, i'm opening this address one uh, you, you must pay attention to to this um to this little red uh, uh, squares they represent the high and the blue squares they represent the low uh so low is nothing high is one is something 
is doing something. So we are we are looking all the time uh, in this sector, and also here when uh, in run mode, these two sectors we are uh, keeping our eyes on. So on R1 right now, let's program. Let's put it into program mode, and let's put a series of uh, multiple bits. Uh, let's actually put these four bits on and their corresponding jumpers. And all these four bits will lit, will be uh, programmed into this memory. And now, right now at this point, they are programmed. They are here, lit on the, the, its outputs, which uh, the, uh, every RAM chip is having in-outs. Uh, so this uh, D0 uh, to D7 are actually out in-outs. So in because you can program in the information and outputs when you, you run the, the chip and everything is stored inside is coming out as an output. So right now uh, is already programmed. Let's switch it to run mode. Uh, switch off every jumper. Uh, put off every uh, pin here, and uh, turn off this address. So on address one we had only one bit on. On address two we have four bits on from eight bits alive. Is one zero one zero one zero one zero. This is what it means, and this is it for for this uh, example. For this chip, it's extraordinarily easy to work with with it. Uh, very very easy to work with it uh, from um, uh, from a manual programming uh, point of view. But if you want to do some more complicated stuff uh, to program it from a file, that's uh, not possible. Uh, or at least I don't know how to do it with this kind of chips uh, that don't have that option. But these two guys they have that option actually. Let me stop the, the simulation and delete this thing that is doing nothing. So the next one is, is this guy here. Let me use my other viewer. So this. This is the uh, the next chip that we are talking right now. When I'm clicking and looking in its properties, so it's having this field here, image file. You can load a file inside this chip. The same goes for this uh, last one. The same. You can actually go there and add a file uh, uh, with a program. You don't have to program it manually like we are doing it here. But in this uh, episode, uh, we we are dedicated. Uh, we are doing only the, the manual uh, programming right now. Uh, how do, did I figure it out? Figure out how to link all these pins. Also, this pin. How did I figure out uh, if it's run or program? Actually, I did a lot of tests. I did a lot of permutations, and I didn't look directly uh, into its datasheet for this 6116 because it's so easy. And I kind of, uh, I did uh, so many permutations, so many trial and errors, and I figured it out uh, like that. Uh, but I had no chance, absolutely no chance, for this to figure it out what all these four should be. So I had to to go uh, on internet. A search for this chip and find this datasheet and read there how to link everything. Uh, let me open uh, this guy datasheet to see how simple uh, its datasheet is. Let me copy its name and uh, let's actually I have it here a uh, tab open. Let's close this because we don't need it anymore. And uh, I have it already opened right now. And for 61116, uh, it's very easy. Trust me, it's very very easy for this one. We have this pin descriptions and this truth table. And what we are really, 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 really uh, interested in is the uh, read and the write. This guy and this guy. That's it. From all this, the standby, I don't care. I don't care about. This read is a secondary read. I'm not sure what this does. So pretty much you can choose one, one or another. Uh, high Z, it means high impedance, uh, uh, which means low current. And that out, when it's uh, in out pins. I'm not sure exactly what uh, what this, uh, this sector does, but it's not actually related to what we hear, what we need. Uh, let, let me redraw it again. What we really need is this. Uh, this read from here to here and this write from here to here. That's it. So for uh, CS, OA and WA, I have uh, all this noted already. Uh, let me open the... No, I don't have it. Uh, so we have here for 5 volts to run it. Let's see in the data sheet. So uh, let, let me do this. So we have uh, CA and OA to low no, on the read. Let's see here. So uh, uh, one second, let's make it a little bit bigger to actually mark everything. So we have this CA, they don't really correspond because this is uh, the program markings and this is the real markings. So uh, this uh, CA, is, this CS is actually the CA. It says here to read it, you have to put it to lower to zero volts. Okay, so right now it is, CA is to zero volts like this, you see it? Then, uh, oh yeah, is also put to low. So right now we are for the reading. We have to read this device. This is for low. And oh yeah, this is it. I link it to the ground. 
as well as these uh, other pins, but they don't really uh, affect the program in this simulation. They, they are good to be linked to ground, but uh, in reality, not to get high from time to time and uh, mess, uh, mess up uh, your, your stuff. Uh, so this is, uh, oh, where are you? Oh yeah. So these two guys are too, too low. And right now they are too low to, to zero volts. And W, E, yeah, this guy, where? This where, let me change the color. Uh, this where is high. And this where here is going to the switch. And guess what? It's running high to 5 volts Ta -da! to run it. Okay? And if I want to program it, let me change back to red. If I want to program it or to write it, I have the CS is low. Uh, oh, yeah, it doesn't matter actually if it's low or high, but it's already linked to low, so it's fine. And where? <laughs> And where, let's see, where is low? And where are you? here is low. Uh, let me actually draw it with another, with, with pink. So right now, uh, it's, it's a good color. It's low. And uh, let me get back like that. And it is low. And right now, where is getting programmed and is going there to the ground, to the minus. So this is it. This is how you actually use the, um, the PDF file the datasheet file and uh, the chip that we have and you can actually do stuff with it so let's close this guy and get back to this guy again and see th i'm copying its name because i don't want to type it and paste it very quickly i've already looked uh, on this uh, page uh, let's see this read sector and the program sector that's it the rest i don't care so this is bullshit in my eyes i don't really care it uh, then for read i need this uh, this uh, che oye and pgm and vpp this guy. So four things we have here, and it's a bit more complicated. This is a motherfucker. So for read, for reading, we have uh, we have all this line, and for program it, we have the other line here, this line. Uh, okay. All right. Let me actually deselect it because it's all red. So we have uh, this thing to to keep an eye on and program thing. All right. So now on read on uh, che. And as you can see, they are all in order here as well. So for read, read it means the run. So right now is, is to to read the, the device that is already programmed. We are using che. Che, as you can see, is already low voltage and current. It means V for voltage and I for current. Low and low for both uh, for both read and program. So this is good. This is exactly what I did there. I put this che che. To ground i inversed the ground but is on ground right now for both these uh options for read and modes for uh, read mode and program mode all right now the oh yeah this guy here this guy oh yeah it needs special uh, uh tweaking is it, it needs its own um, uh, switching i i needed a switch that had three switches to, when i click once to, to switch all three at once but i didn't have that three mode switch so i used a two mode switch and one single normal switch so um, that's why it's looking a bit weird right now. But uh, it should have been one switch that is commutating three three pins at once, if you want. Uh, now let's see. Oh yeah, is going here for a reading. Right now we are here. Right now we are on reading. So uh, is oh yeah is doing going there, there, there to ground, and it is. And uh, right now we are here for oh yeah. And that's oh yeah. Now let's see Pugma. also for read. Voltage high must be. So the pigment, this is going like this, like this, like this, like this, and going here and going to 14 volts. Why to 14 volts? I will tell you because this is a very weird chip, and it needs 14 volts uh, to be programmed. Uh, it has two voltages. It's an ancient uh, memory chip. It's very old and very weird, but it is what it is. And now the VPP. This is actually the most important thing. Voltage programming pin or something uh, and this is to VCC this is VCC 5 volts so this VPP is going like this like this like this like this like this to 5 volts and all the read sequence it is already this circuit uh, is following this uh, instructions that we see here okay so let me scribble a, a bit so this read we can cut it because we have it already in the circuit made already let me refresh the, the page and uh, the same is for the program like this uh, the same uh, let's see the che 
is only for it's only low it's staying low as for the read stage so it's uh it's to the ground it's low to zero volts but this time is is asking for voltage and current high so uh this oa this oa is is going here and then like that actually let me switch like that and like this to program and uh make it again so this is the program so uh we are here at oa so this and this we established they are on ground okay so uh this is oa here and it's going to voltage high and current high it's going like this like this like this like this like this voltage high and so this is cut from the circuit here it is made pokemon to voltage low and current voltage and current low let's see uh, so the Pokemon is, is doing like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Yes, is on voltage low. And VPP to voltage high. VPP is going like this, 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 like that. And it's on that voltage high. Let's see what uh, this voltage high in VCC, VCC means. Actually, I have it uh, written here. Uh, for this uh, guy, I did uh, made this uh, table. Uh, you can read it. If you can stop the movie, and you can read it. It has a special program voltage of 14 volts for VPP. Uh, it's, uh, I, and I made a screenshot. This is a screenshot where it's specifying. It's actually here in the beginning of the datasheet. I mean, on its top, if I remember right. Here. Uh, here. You see it? This part. And uh, it's that, that guy. A normal running voltage is actually at 5 volts. Actually, it's not 5 volts. It's 7. It's uh, from 0 to 7 volts. 7.25, actually. Uh, they are giving you options, you know. But usually... Uh, Everything is uh, everything. Uh, uh, every every digital uh, uh, chip these days are run are standardized to uh, five volts. Some are running to three volts for battery use. But everything that is powered from a plug in a you know from a transformer or uh, for house using usage uh, like a computer or whatever. Uh, is usually running at 5 volts. You have a transformer for specifically made for 5 volts. And it, it's a very standardized voltage, uh, level voltage of voltage to run at. No, not to fluctuate too much be between too many voltages. It, it's a generalized uh, thing, which is good. Which is very good. And this is it. Uh, this the, the, the difference from uh, this guy, let's go back to, to our uh, uh, save file here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this chip actually retains the code when the simulation restarts. Right now, when I'm restarting the, the simulation, uh, is retaining the last, uh, is remembering the last uh, uh, programming. Actually, let me check that if it's true. Oh, no, this is programmed. Let's switch it back to run. Yes, it does. You see? Uh, it's retaining the last saved. I, I close this file, I reopen it a dozen times, uh, many times I reopen it, but uh, the simulation is retaining. Uh, the, the 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 code that I I put in it in, in this chip. So right now, if I want to to code something in it, which is very cool actually from a from a uh, what is called from a simulation point of view, uh, it's very cool to to be able to to retain the program and to load it later and to play for later times, you know. And uh, let's uh, this is a running mode. Let's program it uh, first to see it actually uh, how is. Uh, let's uh, right now uh, let me get back if i'm pressing the first address if i'm uh, uh, calling the first address is only pin one but let's uh, call i don't know or all the pins let's call all the pins on address one so right now we are switching to program uh, uh, engage the first address switching all the uh, connectors uh, uh, enabling all the pins that we want to be programmed and uh, this is it right now is programmed but we have to switch it back to run mode uh close every input here close every jumper that's why i put the jumper because if i'm keeping it low uh, this is getting influenced by this output from here so i have to i must have a, a way of of cutting these two elements the, the pin of the chip and the input that i have on the other side so i, I cut it with a jumper like this so right now if i'm switching the off the, the address everything is getting back to normal Let, let's go backwards so on pin 4 on address sorry on address 4 we have uh one pin this one then this three we have that one on this two we have that one but on on address one we have all four already programmed inside this chip actually we have all eight uh outputs but uh i only linked 
let me show you like this i only linked only four uh switching modes here the other four i i leave it low uh i didn't bother because it's too much and uh, i only tested the thing to make it work so this is basically this is it for this chip as well for this 27c64 uh and next is this guy 2732 this is harder this is the harder chip uh, memory chip that i encountered and uh, it was very hard to figure it out until i uh, open its datasheet let me copy uh, its name and let's close this one search its datasheet this is it uh we can find this kind of weird i think this is it okay right uh but i want uh, i think i find this guy here full page let's see and if i'm doing like this yep it's full page right now yeah i have a, a little uh that is good this is fucked up so for this uh, as you can see it's ultraviolet erasable uh prom programma prog programmable uh, read only memory means uh 2732 all right so let's see that table uh, that logic table where it is here it is here it is this is it so uh you can see it here the read is this i also put the vcc here but they are not correct at five volts you'll see why and the program it also says to five volts but also incorrect because uh, it also have a high uh, voltage it needs a high voltage a secondary high voltage uh okay so uh, i cannot find it right now i have to really look in it i've already find it and this is it where are you so read and program are these two uh, guys that we, we find already here let's see like this so this guy here and the uh, program and this guy here running voltage is 5 volts like the other one but programming voltage is for 25 volts come on <laughs> and uh it's yeah you, you can see it here uh you can see it here here typically typically at 25 volts programming input voltage for vpp and vcc is actually 5 volts you can read it here you see vcc is running voltage is uh 5 volts so it need but the 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 interesting thing why is more harder than the other one is because it needs a pulse a, a single pulse of 50 milliseconds to program the address that's it you don't have to you, you are not allowed to to press the button and keep the button pressed and then release it when you want <laughs> it needs specifically pay attention so pay attention here it needs specifically a program pulse with it between so minimum is 45 millisecond typically is 50 milliseconds and maximum is 55 milliseconds so it's extremely precise uh timing <laughs> you have to, to to have to program this guy so this is a bit more tricky uh i didn't actually build the circuit i can't build it no problem i can build it here is a one try this is how i i figured out uh, uh that that this guy is not working here <laughs> this is what i figured out let me search a little bit so let me open my other pro simulator sim simulation program where well, open files and on uh, monostable this guy so this is a circuit is a monostable uh, multi vibrator it's exactly like this guy here but here in proteos it doesn't work <laughs> uh, this con capacitor doesn't uh, charge up i'm not sure what is going on uh, here in proteos but this guy doesn't want to work uh, for some reason i don't know why well, probably the values are mm, fucked up uh, who knows but this circuit uh, this program this uh, simulator this secondary simulator is absolutely brilliant and is absolutely uh, excellent for very small circuits that you want to try and simulate and, and check the speed uh, and, and, and switch the uh, and calibrate the speed and you can see the current flow the electron flows uh, very 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 smart i really li like it uh, and this graphic uh, this uh, oscillograph or oscilloscope that we have here is uh, you see is highlighting with blue this resistor so i i put this uh, to into the scope to measure because it's giving me some very good values uh, you will see in a second so let's see let's see if i'm clicking the button there is switching let's stop it for a second and measure the thing 3.792 i'm i'm actually reading this value here that's what i'm reading all the time i'm looking on this secondary value and actually after the the comma 3.792 the 792 I'm, I'm interested because those are the milliseconds and uh so uh 39 79 79 and here is 84. so between 79 793 and 83 383 is 
uh, yeah, like 60 milliseconds, 60 milliseconds for this uh, LED to open. Uh, if I'm running it again, so you see, I'm, I bring it to zero volts and then is rising back to five volts. But this circuit is actually, and it's possible a bit more simpler without this uh, transistor. Uh, my friend from uh, from England actually made it from uh, from a simple capacitor and uh, uh, resistor, and it, it's way more simpler than than this guy here, and uh, also with a button. <laughs> But both our circuits are not uh, good because, check this out, if I'm pressing this button, as long as I'm keeping it pressed, it stays at zero volts, you see here? And after I'm releasing it, then it's, it's taking that value, that this capacitor and that resistor. So these two guy, guys are influencing the timing, uh, how much it will stay before it will get back to five volts. So if I'm switching this, closing this switch, uh, this circuit should behave a little bit different. How different? In the moment I uh, let me turn it back actually. So when it right now is on plus, on on positive, right? The, the LED is lit. When I'm pressing the, the the button, it should get automatically down to zero volts, it instantaneously should get to zero volts, which it does. In the moment I, I switch it, it does go to zero volts. But uh, like this. It does. It does instantaneously go to zero volts. Let me switch it back as a moment, momentary. And when when it's staying close, and as long as I'm keeping the button pressed, in the moment the contact is made, it drops automatic very quickly to zero volts. But and then in that moment it's starting to calculate that 50 milliseconds. And when it uh, is reaching that 50 milliseconds, is rising up uh, as fast as it, it can. Ideally, it it should be a square wave, not a, not this sinusoidal wave that we have here, this crescendo wave. Uh, but in 50 milliseconds, to reach this 5 volts again, well, it says here 2 volts, but uh, usually the output should be 5 volts, and that can be arranged, no problem. And when it's reaching that 5 volts, I'm still with the, the finger pressed on the button. The button is not uh, open, it's still closed. And then it's continuing staying on 5 volts. And uh, when, when I'm releasing the button, the, it's still staying on 5 volts. It's not dropping back to 0 volts or doing anything weird. It's just staying there on 5 volts. That's it. This is the behavior that this uh, memory chip uh, really needs and really uh, expects. This is the, 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 the formula, the, the function that it needs on its programming pin. This kind of blip, you know, a 50 milliseconds blip. And then when I'm pressing back the button again, when Immediately when the contact is made, is dropping back to zero volts. Weight is calculating inside uh, 50 milliseconds, raising up to five volts, staying on five volts, while I'm still keeping my finger on on the button. And when I'm releasing the button, is still remaining on five volts, expecting another contact to drop down and so on and so on and so on. So this is the circuit that I wanted to explain. I didn't made it yet. Uh, so this circuit that uh, that I I made these two circuits I made with the transistor, uh, they are not good. They are not the correct ones. And um, and this guy here in Proteus is not even working, <laughs> which is uh, a palm on my forehead. Uh, though, like uh, uh, like Simpsons, you know, like though, though. <laughs> and um, yeah, but uh, this is the way of programming this uh, this chip. Uh, the thing is that I figured out how to program it. I, I understood the logic behind it, but I didn't manage to make it uh, work. But look on on, uh, on these guys here, how, how simple these pins are. Very, very simple, but very hard to control, actually, to program it. To read it, to run it is easy, but to program it is a hell. Uh, I'm speaking again, I'm repeating myself. This is manual programming. It's not uh, digital programming or automatic programming. Uh, digital programming meaning you load a file in it and it's reading that file. You can load the file in them and run that file without all this manual bullshit programming. You have to you smash your head and figure out some clever ways to, to make this work. Nah. Or this guy. It's ugly as fuck. But uh, the thing is that it's working. And as a manual programming. But a digital programming is when you load when you load the file with already the program written in it. And uh, and uh, that file is, is stored internally. And when you press this uh, test buttons here, uh, which now are not working because nothing for that one. But for this one is working. If uh, if I'm running it, so uh, if if I'm pressing this, uh, is the same uh, is the same uh, structure that we have here, or, or for testing, of course, we still have to put it only on run, so make all the connection only for running the chip, 
in the run mode. That's it. We don't need a program uh, secondary mode with all the switches. We only need a simple circuit that will only run the, the chip, uh, load the program, uh, put it inside, and when we are running the, the simulation, the program is already inside, and we only run the program inside the chip through these outputs uh, to the addresses, and uh, the outputs will will uh, lead accordingly. Uh, so this is uh, this is the the next stage for this uh, for this program that we started from from it, and um, where all these three pins. Let me select them. These three pins are not connected here to this chip, but to these outputs of this memory. And these inputs of this memory are linked to this chip. Okay? But that will be the next movie. Until then, I, I hope you you learn something interesting about how to manually program something. No, that's it. I think this is it. Uh, yeah. This is it. Uh, I hope you liked my movie. Uh, if you enjoyed, if you learned something new, uh, please leave a like. and. Uh, Maybe a nice comment there, and uh, say uh, say a thank you, because this stuff was hard to figure out. Figure it out. I figured it out in a couple of days. <coughs> I stayed and researched uh, on internet. I asked people. I I discussed these problems with uh, with very interesting people actually, and uh, yeah, it it was not easy. It was a pain in in the butt to get at this stage that I am right now. And uh, yes, thank you for for watching everything that I presented here. I hope you like it. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And, uh, you know, see you on the next uh, episode from this great uh, adventure into memory chips. All right? All right. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Goodbye, everybody. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye.